Bye-bye, huh? They're so used to running places that now that like they don't know what to do with themselves in their home. <laughs> and, but today we're staying home, but tomorrow we're going to thrift stores and swimming in my mom's. And I thought it was fun, a new fun, I thought of a new fun uh, idea to, to get the kids to do stuff around here. <laughs> Whoever doesn't get done their chores and doesn't listen has to clean Kelly <laughs> Poopy diaper. Uh, I, I use cloth diapers for swimming. Like they're like swimmy cloth diapers and she pooped in it yesterday and I brought it home to like, you know, clean off in the, in our toilet. Cause it's easier than dunking in my mom's toilet. Cause I have like a toilet sprayer and I have a uh, spray pail. It just makes it so much easier to clean in the toilet. So I think the rule should be for today that whoever doesn't get done their stuff by lunchtime is the one that has to clean that. Stuff. That's a good one. Yeah, I use the disposable swimmy diapers because, I mean, not the disposable, the cloth swimmy diapers because, let me tell you, disposable swimmy diapers are expensive. And most of the time, she doesn't do that. Most of the time she doesn't poop in her swimmy diapers, she just pees and then we have to throw it out. And it's expensive, so cloth diapers, you know, the swimmy diapers, they're, you know, a little investment at first. I have like two of them but you can reuse them all the time, so nice. Kelliana, why did you poopy yesterday in your swimmy diaper? We gotta potty train you after vacation. So after vacation, me and you, and the toilet. All right, so it's lunchtime, and I guess the kids won the bet. They they saw the poopy bed. diaper hanging there, and they're like, ah. Mommy! Uh-uh. Come get the poopy diaper because he didn't do his bed. Bed. <laughs> uh, the poopy diaper. It's funny. But right now the kids are making mac and cheese. I am wanting to start teaching them okay. how to cook. And we're starting off simple. We're starting off with organic white cheddar mac and cheese in a box. Instant, but they're still learning. I'm having them do everything themselves. Like what I was like, what do we start off doing? And they're like, get a pot. And like, okay, now we gotta fill it with water. Now we gotta turn the oven on. So they're doing like everything themselves, of course, with mommy right here. And now I'm having them like look up the, like find the cooking instructions like on the box and reading them themselves and figuring it out themselves. What do you think guys? You're gonna know how to do yes. mac and cheese yourselves now. I saw somebody on uh, Facebook that I was friends with this summer. Like she had just three boys and she every week, one of the boys had to cook dinner from scratch. They couldn't use like a box. And they cooked it from scratch and they had to do it all themselves with, their mom stood by them, but they had to do it all themselves. Yeah, it looked like a really good experience for them. They, lo they looked like they enjoyed it. Instant mac and cheese now. <laughs> mac and cheese. That. There you go, you guys. That's how you make mac and cheese. Woo! Woo! You learned something. Good job. All right, Daddy's home from work, <laughs> and apparently it's crazy right now. I'm excited to see you. Go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> These kids are on a. Um, yeah, these kids are crazy right now, running after each other, playing some kind of game. I think they uh, had too much like uh, sugar. I can't hear anything. It's too loud in here. Even though they didn't really have sugar. I miss 
So, this little girl got used to daddy home from work for a couple days while he was working from home. So this little girl ran to the, the office that he works at inside the house and like out there. Out, out there and knocks on the door and he doesn't answer and she throws herself down crying. Oh, daddy was at work and she missed daddy. That's what happens when you work from home for two days. Well, actually I was home for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I went to work Monday and then I was back home Wednesday and Thursday or Tuesday and Wednesday while they work in my office at work. So now I uh, had to go back to work this morning, but she got so used to me being home. Yeah. Yeah. So we had to call daddy from oh work. Word. I got you. Right? We I called him. Oh my word, I got you. I saved you. Oh my word, I dropped you, but I saved you. Oh my word, I dropped you, but I saved you. <laughs> so in the midst of the craziness, I'm making chili tonight per Cohen's request last week and cornbread that's in the oven. There's Brody giving Daddy Hug. Whose birthday is it next week? Brody's. Whose birthday is it next week? I bet he's going to turn that frown upside down. It's going to go. It's gonna go. Yeah, I'm <laughs> you're going to be five. You're going to be five years old, and you're going to have a little birthday. What did you say you wanted for your birthday? You said chicken noodle soup, right? Yeah? And I want you to get a present for me. He said he wanted a present for his birthday. Now, who gets presents on their birthday? I don't know anybody that gets presents on their birthday. Mommy. What makes you think I you're going to get presents mommy, on your birthday? I want a baby <laughs> monster oh truck. God, you already have enough monster trucks. You monster truck the hog. <laughs> Fish tank for fish, and I want um dino trucks. You want what? Dino trucks from Walmart. <laughs> Mommy already got your birthday present. You have to wait and see what it is. We're getting ready for a walk. There she goes on a rib stick. Ready? I can do sharp turns. You're going to be a pro on that thing, Taya. Look at this crazy boy on the scooter. Ah, uh, Birdie's trying to catch up to Daddy. Woo, whoa. Hop on my hog. <laughs> He's being challenged. I thought you just said you were sweating and you didn't want to move because <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> Watch out. Oh, there they go. Off they go for the races. I still think Randy's going to win. <laughs> oh! I don't think I got that. It was too far away. Is he okay? Are you okay? Look what he got. Okay, I was I'll vlogging live, it. Baby. I was vlogging it, but you were too far away. Randy just like fell. And he, like, not only did you fall, but you, like, did a flip when you fell. I know. She got, she got these battle wounds. Oh, my word, Randy. You need to go get a Band-Aid now. I think we have to go to the hospital. I think we have to go to the hospital. <laughs> he, like, flipped and he rolled. <laughs> I thought... That's because I tried to jump off. And then in the process of, like jumping off the scooter went one way so I went the other way and I couldn't get my leg out in I thought, time so I was like oh I'll just roll. I thought are you okay because like you are not you know in your 20s anymore so <laughs> nice Randy nice do you need to go get bandies now
wish now that I would have gotten a time lapse of that while we were gone, but I didn't get a chance to get it up on the roof. That would have been nice. Check out the battle scars. And it stings bad too. And it's at the worst possible place, like right where you like close your hand so it's never gonna heal. Awesome. What was I thinking? So I was busy texting a message to Tim and Stacy. We got an invitation for dinner Tim tomorrow Stacey, night. Tim and Stacy, Tim and Stacy, Tim and Stacy. <laughs> um, so they asked if we wanted to come for dinner tomorrow night. So Randy thought we should respond. He thought it would be funny. I was like, I was like, really? Them again? <sighs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. So yeah, we, it was. It was kind of funny. We actually responded. We're kind of tired of you guys. We thought you'd be more fun. <laughs> okay. Just kidding. We're actually old losers with no life. So we'll be there. What time? <laughs> yeah, we'll take any invite. <laughs> Nothing better to do. Seriously. <laughs> I think when they asked the kids if they could go to Tim, if they wanted to go to Tim and Stacy's, they acted like giddy little schoolgirls. But you know they are. Giddy, giddy little, little schoolgirls. Yeah, they are. Yeah. So that's what we're actually going to be doing tomorrow night. Uh, see, quick plans for tomorrow. Julie and the kids are going to her mom's house to swim. Here, the thrift store. Oh, they're going to be going to the thrift store. See if they can get any any unbelievable deals. It's actually 50% off day. Usually that means they're going to come home with something that we don't need. Just because it was 50% off. <laughs> yeah. Then they're going to her mom's house to swim. More GoPro, more swimming. It's going to be hot and humid again. Then we'll be at Tim and Stacey's from there for dinner. i be excited. Can't wait. And I get to work from home tomorrow. Don't have to fight traffic again. Score! Man, this grass is really growing. Ever since we got these like thunderstorms and rain, it's like finally started to grow. Off the mode again this weekend. Oh, oh well. Looks a hundred times better though. All right, the kids are having a Nerf war. I'm not exactly sure how it works. I've never actually been involved in a Nerf war. There's a new day that's calling out your name. Come join the game. That's look better than that, dude. It's been great. Whoa. That's so real. <laughs> It's been real. It's real. <laughs> Alright guys, well we got our plans for tomorrow, so we're gonna wrap it up and try and wrangle these kids in and get them in from the Nerf War. So we're gonna see you tomorrow. It's been real. It's been real guys. Together we can try that's life.